Namaste, air signs. Hi, my name is Case, and welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers and those that are visiting. I'm grateful for your support. Continue to support. Continue to thumbs up, subscribe, share, and like, and um, comment on my videos. Please. Anyhow, let's get the energy for our air signs. For February 2020. On the base of the pre-shuffle, we've got Guardian. So this is telling me that your Guardian Angels are around you at this moment in time. And they're helping you, helping to bring your dreams from down from the 5D into the 3D. This also tells me that you need to keep your head about you, not to make any rash decisions. And your, your intuition is super litty right now because you can see the light in the center of the cat's eyes. Yeah. I see one pentacle in here as well. So this is telling me... I'm feeling like it's, it's, this is going to be um, something to do with something tangible, this reading. Okay, let's get energy for my air signs for February 2020. Okay, we have Homelands Foundation. I told you, something tangible. This is to do with your stability, your security. This is about you making plans. This could also mean you're actually traveling to um, set up stick in a new place. Set up sticks in a new place. This is telling me that you need to map out your future carefully. Although you're being divinely guided, you have to take precautions. Don't, don't lose your head. Keep your wits about you. And on the base of the deck... We have square mirror. I'm going to put it up here. It says shadow. This is about you facing your shadow side. This is about you facing your fears. The fears could be around the relocation. Something tangible, a change of job. But this could also be facing your darker side around this, your, your own security. Lack of confidence within yourself to provide this security for yourself, air signs. Because this scrying mirror gives off moon energy, but it also tells me that your intuition is super litty, which we already knew. From. All right, hand is digging me. Let the coin fall down on me and into my purse. That's what happens when your right hand is itching you. The coin is on its way. Anyway, as I was saying, your intuition is super litty at this moment in time. And all is not as bad as you think. But the scrying mirror also comes out to tell me that you may have some hidden enemies, some frenemies. You've got a cuckoo in your nest. Hey! Right. Where shall we go? Which deck shall we use today, folks? We're going to use the Psychic Tarot deck. Oh, and that broke. Normally the elastic band doesn't break, so that is a sign in itself. This is about you breaking free. What is the card on the pre-shuffle? Conflict and defeat. Are you breaking free from conflict and defeat? Is the conflict within your own mind? But I don't see this as a defeat. I see it as an enlightenment. I see, because look at all of these figures running up the stairs. But when you've come down from those stairs, okay, you came back with knowledge, energy, power. That's why you're bent. You're not bent because you're conflicted. The conflict and defeat is what you got when you got to the top of the stairs. 
that light there is for the fire that's been lit under you because of, in spite of conflict and defeat. I don't know, my mind just telling me to give it an extra good shifty just now, even though they were previously shuffled. Okay. I hope everybody's getting their stuff together in 2020. Because it's a new decade, new things must be must be grinding in your life right about now. Air signs. Let's get into it. Okay. The first card that come out for you is spiritual union. This is the two of cups. This is telling me about some kind of attraction, some deep attraction between you and somebody else, which could possibly turn out to be a soulmate, a divinely guided soulmate. In your influences, we have the temperance card. It says patience. This is about balance. This is about having your guardian angel around you. Okay? Being divinely guided. In this card, it depicts patience. Having having the seed. Being able to plant the seed. And being patient to watch it grow. I'll put your finances over there to one side. In your finances... We have the throat chakra. That is a five. That five also, as I said, five speaks about overcoming conflict, going through conflict and confusion, which was on the on the base of the pre-shuffle. It's about speaking your truth or being unable to speak your truth. Because when, when the throat chakra is balanced, you're able to express yourself and be creative and speak your truth. If it's overactive, you're... you're you're jibber jabbering, mate. You're running off of the mouth, verbal diarrhea. You're very boring to everybody around you. And you're seen as being very judgmental, criticizing all of the time. And if your throat chakra is underactive, okay, it means you can't express yourself. You need to express yourself. You're afraid to speak in public. You're seen as timid. Or it could be because of codependence why you can't speak. There's many things that can hold a body's tongue, okay? In your emotional blocks. We have Triumph. This is the Seven Black. It's represented by another major arcana, the, um, the Chariot. The Chariot speaks of... The chariot speaks of um, determination, drive, having the confidence, you know, to to rely on your inner guidance. Because I told you from the outset of the reading, you are being divinely guided. It also speaks about, you know, having the courage to go and find your fame and fortune. It also speaks of a true, a true friend coming in for you. Everybody needs a true friend. A true loyal friend, okay? In your um, expectations, we have two cards. We have the three of purple and the two of red. The three of purple talks of, is represented by the three of wands, okay? The three of wands is about um, setting your plans into motion. It's about going forward and you're progressing steadily, right? The two of red is represented by the two of coins. Okay, this one says movement, choices and decisions. The two of pentacles is about being single, be, but juggle, it's, a jug, it's a juggling act. But you're managing everything on your own. It shows that your, your focus is either on the short term or the long time. Long time, the long term. It's also telling me that you mustn't let any obstacles deter you. Keep moving. Okay. In your outcome, 
in your final outcome, we have the Emperor. This is Aries energy. This is about you standing in your power. It could also mean it's an emperor coming for you. But in also, this is about standing up for yourself. This is about you taking a lead, taking a lead role in, lead role in your life and not being an extra. And on the base of the deck, we have the five of black. This is about wisdom. This is about you wanting things to be harmonious. This is about you going to seek um, wisdom, or advice from someone that you respect because this is all about your trust and your loyalty that has been questioned it's like the cards are calling you to be wise it's telling you to think okay I'm going to clarify these this shadow card keeps falling over so that alone tells me that you're feeling very, um, how can I put it, spiritually weak at this moment in time. But what you need to understand, what I try to impress on you at the outset, is that you do have your, your guardian angel around you. You have your familiar with you. On the base of the deck pre-shuffle, we have the world card. The world card is um, fixed energy, fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. The world card is also represented by earth energy as well as Saturn. Saturn is the planet planet of stability and structure. As well as it can be about restrictions, but also the world card is showing me that you need, that it's the ending of one cycle in your life. Something has come to a completion in order for you to have a, a fresh new start. You're wanting a spiritual union, a true union. Why is the two of cups in air signs? I'll leave that way for Why is the two of cups in air sign? Okay, this is the one that I was trying to flip. We have the moon card. Okay. The moon card is Pisces energy. It's about you're wanting a spiritual union, but you're afraid of bad energy being around it, of any deception or lies coming in with this. This new person, this new pairing that's coming into your life. If it's not already here. You want the truth. And nothing but the truth. Otherwise, it's off with their heads. Air, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. See? The Hierophant showing itself again. Two different decks. You definitely want something that's based in tradition. Um, a proper coupling. A marriage something that is that is based on trust and truth something that you can work on together that will build a solid stable foundation don't know why they fell out but i'm going to look at them quickly there's someone in your life that's trying to keep you stagnant and stuck. Baby child. Mm -mm. They're trying to hold you back. Right? There's no creativity. You, you don't see no growth in the relationship. And it's with the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay? This person is cold. They're shady. Shady but grady. Right? They ain't, they ain't, got, no, they ain't got no money. No real money. Right? This person is ruthless. That's what you're running away from? Is that why you your throat chakra is where your money is? Because you've got this you're with this king of pentacles in reverse and you're unable to speak your truth around them. Because the page of wands is is um, immature energy, okay? And him being in reverse is telling me that this person, this King of Pentacles in reverse, is very fickle. You know, they like to they like to gossip. They like to talk about what other people's got. Very envious because they themselves are not able to um, financially achieve where they want to be. So they want to keep you stagnant and stuck with them. Oh, really? Okay. 
Okay. Let's make sure this gets a good shift here. Yeah? Wow. You're wanting a spiritual union that has no deception. Something that will lead to something that's stable, long-term. An equal commitment. In your outside influences, we have the temperance card. Okay. Temperance is about you have been on a long journey. You know, you've been through some obstacles, but your guardian angel, as I said, is around you. It's about you finding that inner peace now. Temperance could also mean that you're sta you've started to save your pentacles. That's why you, maybe it's because you spoke your truth with the throat tracker in your money situation. What was I just doing? Look, we just flash down the eight of cups. You're definitely turning your back and walking away from a situation that no longer serves you, that kept you timid and small. I'll leave this one in adjacent to the next one. So the temperance in your outside influence is telling you that you need to obviously conserve your money and your time as well as your energies. You've been on a long journey and you've sold the seed for your new beginning and you will see it blossom. At this moment in time, air signs, you're between worlds. One more on the patience card, 14 black. We have the Eight of Wands. This speaks of um, messages coming in very quickly. Okay. It could be by any means, by snail mail, email, social media. It talks, also talks about you moving on and being dissatisfied, but resigned to the fact that you was living in illusion. It's about, it's not even giving up, it's conceding. Because you're tired of being sad. Tired of being tired, tired, tired. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. How about that? Sorry, I've got to take a little sip of my drink. I won't tell you who it's from. McDonald's for my Diet Pepsi. Because I always have a fish finger children's happy meal. Yes! With that chili sauce. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay, anyway. The Eight of Wands also speaks of communication coming in with a swiftness. You see how the ones are angled? It tells me that change is coming to you with a swiftness. That clear background tells me that there's, there's not going to be any more blockages. Your struggles, the obstacles, they're clearing. You are now having the freedom to move. It's also telling you that you need to devote yourself to the hand that task right now. And that task right now is building yourself back up because this fell on the temperance card. This is about self-love. This is about pouring back into yourself. This is about understanding where you came from and knowing where you are going. On the split, I told you. Because you're moving towards your nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment. Look. On the eight, base of the deck. The eight of cups. Okay. You're going from the eight of cups to the nine of cups. You've got on your red cloak of wisdom. And you're holding to that stuff of stability. Yeah. It's about you overcoming the temptations of the past and letting go of the past, withdrawing your emotions because you've looked for that spiritual meaning and you found it. And that, that spiritual meaning has told you to get thee gone from that situation. The Nine of Cups steps in to tell us that um, you are moving towards your joy. You're going to be victorious. And you must always show gratitude for the blessings that are being afforded to you at this moment in time. It's telling me that you're leaving your worries in the past. In your emotional block, we have the chariot card. The chariot card is about, this could also possibly mean um, the purchase of a new vehicle. 
you have the orange here for your passion and drive and the yellow is for please excuse me that that diet pepsi diet pepsi is really really fizzy um yeah it's about you you rushing in and moving quickly towards your success It's about you overcoming those obstacles that you went through in the past and relying on your inner guidance. What fell next to this card? Look, Ace of Wands. Told you, you're passionate new beginning. This is also the, the, uh -huh, the passion card. Yeah, somebody's bringing in passion to you. And this person is being sent to you by the divine. And it's going to be successful. An successful, a successful, excessful as well. There's going to be abundance of love, of sex, of adventure. Yeah. I don't see that as a block. I see it as a blessing. What's been on the log? You're still mentally conflicted though. You're going to be a little mentally conflicted when this new person comes in, this new spiritual union. That I see coming in for you. You're going to be mentally conflicted. But trust and believe. It's your 11-11 with the four of ones here. Trust and believe. Okay. Let's go to your throat chakra. To your finances. Why is the throat chakra. Let's start properly now. Come on. Why is the throat chakra on air signs finances? Why? What do you want to know? We have the world card in reverse. Okay. The world card is um, Saturn energy. Saturn is about stability and structure. It's also about, listen, stability, structure, your foundation. Okay. The world is also Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And with it being in reverse, it's telling me that you're afraid of this new beginning. And you're not really welcoming. You're not being as welcome to this new beginning. Maybe it's because you're afraid of change. Because you've never before or never truly or in the recent past you haven't been expressing your truth. You haven't been speaking your truth. You feel that you've you've committed a lot of foolish actions around where your finances are concerned. Which is causing you a lot of anxiety. You're feeling stagnant and stuck right now as far as your finances are concerned. Look, the chariot card showing its face again. It coming up twice, right? Tells me that you need to have more confidence and control over yourself. Because if you can master this self-discipline, you'll be able to turn your finances around. The King of Swords comes in to tell me that I've just spoke the truth to you. Okay, look what just fell on the, this Scorpio death card. This is telling me that this transformation that you're going through, there's nothing that you can do about it. We are in the midst of it. We are in the midst of change. And transformation. This could also be a divorce. Some, some kind of ending of a life changing. Um, ending of a, um, a major life event or a major life changing event which caused you a lot of sadness it did but you know what like I always say if you're going to cry cry hard and rub them tears in your face in your forehead because I, I'm going to I'm going to have to google the name of that enzyme it truly is a healing enzyme if you're going to cry cry for your own good when you're done you're still beautiful really beautiful you know don't cry too long, you know, because you don't want your head looking like a checkerboard. Can't even paste down them baby hairs. Can't gel them in shape because they're grey and, gray and black or grey and blonde. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to do a Benjamin Buttons up in here. What about you? Okay, then. Yeah, you're going to have to go through this change. Whether you like it or not, the change is here. You might as well embrace it. Be confident because it is going to bring you towards your 1111. A stable foundation where everybody's working together for mutual benefit. It could also mean that this change is going to bring the opportunity for marriage. 
you it's also this death card i mean this 11 11 card the four of ones also comes in to say that you must stop stressing over past mistakes and move on learn from them loot and move on and enjoy your life and take pride in the things that you've accomplished because it looks like you haven't been paying attention to yourself it seems like you haven't been pouring some of that love back into yourself it seems like you have not been recognizing yourself that's why the scrying mirror is here you need to see all of you including the shadow side embrace everything all right what fell on your partnership card and um, movement choices and decisions this is in your expectations you want the seeds that you've sown right to be successful and they will be successful but at this moment in time you are by yourself you are by yourself but you have many options but in those options divine is telling you to take your rose colored glasses <laughs> off and look with the full 2020 if you ain't got 2020 put your glasses on like i have <laughs> put them on put them on and see you got to look with your, your eyes plus your spiritual eyes. Ask oh, God. Always put God first. Yeah. Look what just fell on that. Somebody sees you as a missed opportunity and you're not prepared to take any more offers from the past. You're very indifferent to anybody that's coming in with their cup. That same cup, that same eight cups that you have no more you've got no more emotion to give to the public and look this is two eights okay oops get it out get out Let me out you don't want to come out all right eight is the karma number of and it basically speaks of um cause and effect but in your case air signs this effect is going in your favor 100% in your favor. See the folded arms and legs at this moment in time tells me that you are feeling unreachable. You are unreachable at this moment in time. Whoever that is that wants to come and offer their sour cup to you, right? You don't want it. And in your final outcome, we have the emperor. This could be the person coming in for you or you're bossing up, you're stepping into yourself now. You're finally understanding who and what you are. Okay? The emperor, it talks about leadership. It could also mean a father figure in your life. But it also says... It speaks of a solid foundation that you're building for your future. But you have to release that throat tracker. You have to start talking more, speaking up for yourself. Speak life and it will be. Because I already said you're calling down from the 5D into the 3D now. Can I have a stick of dynamite on the emperor, please? Can I have one stick of dynamite on this emperor? We want to know what is the outcome. We have the five of cups. Whoa, I'm knocking everything off. The five of cups speaks of um, regret, sadness and loss. But you're coming out of that now. You've been through the worst of it. You're looking at these three spilled cups, but there's two cups for a new beginning. The bridge in the background tells me that you're ready to go in a new direction. The water tells me about the emotional side, the tears, but it also tells me that you now have spiritual wisdom through what you went through. Look, the divine is giving you anything you like. But you have to also remember love starts with self-love. And that brings you from the five of cups to the six of cups. That person that you that you have let go 
that you're indifferent to wants to make a they want to pull a Lazarus they're gonna do a boomerang right to come back with their their their, their fuck shit to cause more confusion up in your situation it's a burden that you need to put down immediately forthwith don't let them come and run a mock in your palace again stand in your leadership be the boss you the boss of you you've had that spiritual enlightenment you're standing between the two willers of willers two pillars of wisdom boaz and jashin okay You see, Boaz, Boaz, Boaz means completion. And Jashin is the beginning. It's also telling that you need to pay attention to your dreams. Because they're guiding you as well. Your spirit guide comes to you in your dreams. I suggest on, upon waking, after you've said your gratitude for opening your eyes, if the mirror, write down your dreams and get yourself a good book of dreams. Yeah, they want to come back and call some. They want to run amok in your palace. I say nay, nay. Let me get one more on this, this, this offering of love. This offering that is a gift to all of your senses. Look, it fell. How did it fall? Right, so if I was to pick it up, told you. That liar, that cheater, that thief want to sneak on back up in your situation. You need to set the dogs around the perimeter so that nobody can sneak in. Release the dogs, the attack dogs. They want to sneak in. But you need to stay focused. You see that caduceus? The two snakes, this is the balance because you do have a spiritual union coming towards you, right? And that person that's coming towards you is going to speak the truth to you. However, you're going to have to be strong to resist this liar, cheater, thief, this, this scoundrel, this tow rag, this jerk. And in, in England, we call them wankers. Yeah, this wanker that wants to sneak back into your palace and run amok and cause confusion. You have to be strong against them. Love starts with self-love in order for this spiritual love to be called into your existence. Excuse me, didn't mean for sure so much. We pull back and cover up the whole of England. Yeah. All right. Let's get some further messages. Let's get one Dorian Virtue card on this situation. Romance angels. What two? What did I tell you? You need to pay attention to the red flags. And it's a past life relationship. It could be this life relationship. But that person is trying to sneak back up. And run a muck up in your palace. Yeah. They want to come on a romantic girl. Eh eh. Eh eh. Eh eh. Eh eh. Eh eh. Screech or screech. You need to, when this person comes along, you need to say, if you see me walking down the street and I start to cry each time we meet, walk on by. Tell them to walk on by. Dry up them tears. Okay, now come back. You're moving on, mate. Yeah, look, I always pick up my, have my cards in the upright, but I pick this up in the reverse for a reason. Don't be mending our bridges with this punk, this wanker that wants to come back and run a mock in your palace. What is this? A five and a two goes to a seven, right? A seven tells you that you're being divinely guided, that you need to have the courage, the confidence and the determination to keep on moving forward. Don't allow the Decepticon to come back and cause confusion. Because you have to remember, 
that person has bad karma and if you allow them back that means you're going to be sharing it and the bible says your life is going to be filled with troubles pray tell why you want to bring another trouble back up in your palace please there's only two places in this life that you're supposed to have peace one of them is in your house and the second one is in your in the grave and i can't i cannot i cannot believe that you're gonna wait for your grave to have peace you have the chance now to step into your emperor and boss up all right step into your emperor mode and boss up any more massages for my air signs one more massage you see that what, can you read this i told you you are being divinely guided a four talks about you having to having had to rest recuperate and isolate yourself from a situation the divine is asking you to love yourself first love yourself first turn your back on what no longer suits you no longer serves you understand that this is the time that you need to build your foundation your homeland map out your future face your dark side face those temptations and look within and know that you don't deserve that use your intuition all right use that intuition don't be taken in by low vibing people coming with their romantic feelings pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you pay attention to those red flags these past lives these people that want to come pull a lazarus come with their mommy listen if you take that 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 bread out or that cistrine back remember you're getting back pet cemetery have you seen that film you need to watch it okay that was the air air sign reading for february 2020 with me case at frequency phoenix 555 please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and share these messages with whomsoever you feel needs it and also comment because it helps out when other people see comments to understand that we've all been through it and we can all get through it but it's a choice okay and also, if you require a personal reading from me, please email me at frequencyphoenix555 at gmail.com. All of the information is in the description box down below. And as I always say, from the ashes, baby, namaste.